as part of the EMG, EMG uh, test in the layman's you know, term, they call it EMG. But EMG test is two portions. The first part is called nerve conduction studies. And we finished that portion already. It's electrical stimulation. The way I would describe it is as if you are shocking someone. But it's not a strong shock. Uh, it's like uh, you get electrical shock uh, you get a static shock when you touch, you know, you are plugging something in. Uh, and uh, that part is, was to help us to identify if the patient has what we call a neuropathy. Now, the second part we are going to do is going to show us if there's any evidence of a pinch nerve in, in the patient's spine. Uh, we always advise the patient not to tense up. To relax because if you tense up the muscles also tense up and it can cause you to have some discomfort uh, so we are going to start the needle portion uh, it's similar to a you know if you if you had a flu shot or you, you've had a blood drawn it's something similar to it uh, we don't want to give any false promise to a patient that it doesn't cause pain um, because that, that that would not be accurate information is a needle into the skin it cause i'll describe it as discomfort but it's very tolerable i'm going to clean the skin very well and make sure that this is sterile before i stick any needle in by the way most patients are, have phobia for needles but I want to assure you in good hands uh, is less uh, discomfort um, so now I have sterilized the area that I'm going to inject uh, I'll stick the needle and if you come to Dr. Ankama's office you'll be well taken care of <laughs> you're ready? Okay, put your head down for me, please, and relax. Okay, we'll do our first one here. So this is a needle EMG. Here's some noise. And if you see any pinch in there, I'll, sh I'll save it and I'll show you. We also always advise the patient if they are taking blood thinner, medications such as Coumadin or Warfarin or sometimes even Aspirin, uh, they should let us know because those patients have risk of bleeding. Uh, not intense bleeding, but it's always good for us to know ahead of time. Our current patient is not on any blood thinners, so you okay. You all right? Um. Good. And it's always important to ask to see how the patient is doing. She's doing wonderful here. Now this area, every human, we don't have a lot of fat and muscle. Therefore, it's more sensitive okay, in that area. So what I'll do is uh, I do have a little spray here. If you want, some patients like it, some patients say no spray. It's an ether chloride and this spray is just for the patient's comfort. Uh, it's freezing cold, so I'll ask the patient if they want me to spray. Yes, please. Okay. Bend a bit toe up for me, please. Down. Up. So now I localize the area that I'm going to inject. So I'll spray and I'll ask if it's too cold, let me know. Cold enough? It's good. Good? It's okay. okay. All right. Uh, patients with light skin should not be surprised. Sometimes it can leave a little mark there, but usually should should go away. Let her pinch here. Okay. So 
Abadis. If you can hear this noise, this is a sign of a pinch nerve. You can hear pa 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 pa. That's a sign of a pinch nerve. Okay.